Pacific Northwest. This is Arc Seattle, close to home. Thanks for watching Arc Seattle, close to home. San Jose State, Washington State, tonight at 7. The following is a presentation of CW Sports. It's the final race of the regular season for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and it comes at the world's fastest half mile, Bristol Motor Speedway. The Bristol Night Race is one of the best events of the year, and it also marks the start of a new era for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Welcome to NASCAR Racing on the CW. Bristol, under the lights, is like no other. The beating, the banging, and the tempers. That's why there's people in the grandstands. All amplified up into a vortex of sound and energy. One of my all-time favorites. It's Bristol, baby! Three dozen of the best drivers enter the ring tonight for our last Xfinity race of the regular season. Some old and some new. After 25 races of celebration, heartbreak, and everything in between, it all comes down to this. The last race before the playoff. The last shot at finishing the regular season strong. The last moment to get it right. For the first time on the series new home, the CW in the last race coliseum. Let's go racing. So, Kyle, for a series that was founded on short yeah. track nighttime racing, is there a more perfect fitting into the regular season than the Bristol Night? I, I don't believe so. I think if you are a short track asphalt racer anywhere in America, this is a racetrack you dream of. And Bristol is your local short track times a thousand. <laughs> the speed's here, the people's here, the excitement's here, and if you win, you win this sword. Oh. And that is huge. So, who will stand in victory lane tonight with this and start? to head towards Phoenix in a championship. By the way, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is indeed in the race tonight with yep. the Xfinity Series regulars, hoping that he can win the sword tonight, DJ. I mean, 300 laps at Bristol, did he really realize what he was signing up for? You know, he doesn't compete a lot anymore, but he's run quite a few late model races this year and getting himself prepared. But he loved, just shows how much he loves racing here. We saw just last year, had a great chance mm -hmm. at winning the race, led 47 laps, I believe it was. I wouldn't be shocked to see him up front once again tonight. So final race of the regular season. I mean, Kyle, there is no way Sammy Smith loses this final spot in the playoffs, is there? I, I don't believe so. I went to a county school in, in North Carolina, and I don't do math very well. I would say that. But 43 points, I think all he has to do is finish this race. I do believe if they have a winner below the cut line, now he is the guy that's in jeopardy. But all he has to do is start this race, and I think he moves on to the playoffs. Well, the Bristol Night Race is not only one of the best fan events of the year, it's also one of the hardest races of the year to win. Just ask Justin Allgaier, who finally got it done in his 13th try last year. Jim Holman and I circle this place on our calendar when we start the year. Before we ever get to 